So the first thing we're going to do here is take a look at the uh, inputs, outputs, and controls on the unit. Uh, we're looking right now at the front, or what you could call the front, and what the front is about is the input side. So uh, what we've got for inputs, we've got two of the same inputs here, and these are, uh, these are called combo inputs. Combo because they will accept an XLR cable, a TSR cable, or a TS, or a TS cable. So uh, the XLR cables are normally what are used for microphones. Almost all the time a microphone is going to be using, at least a decent microphone is going to be using an XLR. And so you can go ahead and just uh, right channel. If, you need, if you're going to hook up two microphones or two XLR sources, then you can go ahead and go uh, into the left channel. So that's one thing is the XLR cables. So we can go ahead and pull those out. The next type of cable uh, is the TRS cable, uh, tip ring sleeve TRS. Uh, this is a balanced, this is a balanced uh, line, and this is why they call this a combo, because just like it takes the XLR cable, you can also go ahead and throw in the, uh, uh, the, the TSR cable. The last kind is almost the same as a TRS, but it's just a TS instead of tip ring sleeve. It's just tip sleeve, and it's not balanced. Uh, it's, uh, but it's, other than that, it's the same. It's just not balanced. So you can go either way. You can go any combination like that. You can go like that, or you can just have one. It doesn't matter. It's all the same stuff. So, so that's that. Now, for controls, uh, we, we've got an independent gain control knob here for the left, independent gain control knob here for the right, and uh, all the way down is 0 dB. You're not going to get anything, and it'll go all the way up to uh, plus 48 dB. And it's clean. It's clean from start to finish. You can crank this thing wherever you want. It's, it's nice and clean. Uh, then here, we'll talk about this more later once we get the thing turned on, but we have the uh, indicator lights. The green one is the signal light, the signal indicator. The red one is the uh, uh, clip indicator. The clip indicator comes on at approximately uh, uh, two decibels before clipping. If your audio source is up here, is, is an analog source uh, plugged into here, if your audio source is the computer uh, sending the signal through the USB port, so if it's a digital uh, signal, then instead of clipping uh, two decibels approximately before, excuse me, instead of the light coming, the indicator coming on approximately two decibels before uh, clipping, it comes on approximately six decibels before clipping. At any rate, the green signal indicator light, uh, signal indicator, uh, comes on approximately 10 dB before clipping. Okay, so that's the front, the input side. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Uh, the back has uh, has the outputs, left output here, uh, right output here, and uh, then for controls, it has, this is a level control, and it actually, uh, it doesn't cr control these independently, it controls the volume, the, the output, the level of both these, in, the, both these outputs at the same time. It doesn't have independent control uh, like on the other side. Although on the other side, if you are using those inputs as your source, you obviously can control uh, those two channels from the source end of things. And if you're using the USB port as your source of sound, uh, then you can control left and right audio uh, inside the computer software itself. So you always can control it. Uh, the last output we have right here, uh, these two outputs are quarter inch uh, so therefore, uh, TSR and TS, and this port here is eighth inch, 3.5 millimeters, and it is for uh, for the here's the uh, uh, the 3.5 millimeter one. Uh, they're the same thing; they do the same thing, except for one is quarter inch and one is eighth inch. So back to the uh, controls here. This level controller, like I said, it controls the level of all three of these uh, outputs at the same time. This is a mix knob. What it does, now remember you've got two potential uh, types of audio source material. You've got audio coming in the front, uh, the, what we saw a bit ago, through an XLR cable or a TRS cable or a TS cable. And then you've also, you can also get audio coming in to the USB port. Uh, from a computer. 
And what this does is it blends, if, in case you have, uh, if you have volume coming in uh, for, from one or the other, it determines the level of that volume, uh, the level of that signal. It blends between going, on the one hand, if it's all the way to the right, then the only sound you're going to get is the signal coming from the USB port. On the other hand, if it's all the way to the left, then the only sound you're going to get is from the signal coming in uh, through the front ports, the TRS and XLR ports. Anywhere in between all the way left or all the way right is going to be a blend of those two sources. So normally, if you're, only, if you're just using sound coming from the computer into the USB port, then it just makes sense to crank it all the way over to the right. If you're only using sound coming in uh, through the front, from the XLR or TSR or TS uh, inputs, then it makes sense just to crank it all the way over to the left. And if you're using sources at the same time, if you're using signals at the same time from both those sources, then you just put it wherever you're happy with the blend of those two sources. Now then, we have a button here and a button here. Uh, this button here is just the power button. Uh, now, if you're being powered by the USB port, then this button doesn't do anything because if, if an active USB line uh, is plugged into here, then it's going to be turned on all the time. It's a, you can't turn it off. On the other hand, if you are using as your power source either the 9-volt uh, battery or a, an external uh, power supply, then, then, this, then this button actually does something. Uh, if you turn it, if you push it in, it's turned on. If you, turn, if you take it off, it's pushed, it's turned off, obviously. Uh, now let's go ahead 